Before we start, this video is for educational awareness only. No hacking, no illegal activity, just a look behind the curtain so you can protect yourself. Think of this as a story about digital discovery. My goal, show you a hidden layer of the tech world most never see. The more you know, the safer you are. It was 2 a.m. when I fell into a classic GitHub rabbit hole. One search led to another, and suddenly, hours had vanished. That's, that's when I stumbled across some Wi-Fi tools hiding in plain sight. Scripts that felt straight out of a movie. The first tool I found was called Freeway. It's a lightweight script designed to scan for open, unsecured Wi-Fi networks. The code is clean, simple, and easy to follow. It passively listens for any Wi-Fi network broadcasting without a password. No password cracking, just mapping out open networks. The tool uses standard networking libraries. It's available on GitHub for anyone to access. Run the script, get a list of open networks. Security pros use it to audit for forgotten open access points. Use a VPN on public Wi-Fi and secure your home network. Awareness is key, never misuse these tools. Next, I found Wi-Fi Security Auditor, a more serious technical tool. It automated security audits for password-protected networks, focusing on WPA, WPA2. The tool captured the handshake, the encrypted exchange when a device connects to a router. With enough computing power, that handshake can be used to guess the password. The toolkit included scripts for monitor mode, handshake capture, and running the data against a word list of possible passwords. It's a dictionary attack. Try every password in the list until one fits. The automation was impressive, pointed at a network, and it handled the rest. Documentation was clear, with a sample word list of common passwords. The repo had a disclaimer, but text alone doesn't prevent abuse. Never use these tools on networks you don't own. The takeaway, password strength is your best defense. Know the risks, secure your network. Then I found Wi-Fi Attack Tool, a blunt, offensive toolkit. This wasn't about auditing, it was about disruption. One main feature, de-authentication attacks, kicking devices off Wi-Fi by sending fake disconnect packets. Why? To force devices to reconnect, making it easier to capture handshakes for password cracking. Or just to disrupt, imagine being booted from your own network, over and over. It's a local denial of service attack, no password needed, just proximity. The toolkit also created fake access points, evil twin attacks. It would mimic real networks, tricking devices into connecting to the attacker's hotspot. Once connected, your traffic could be intercepted, especially if you're not using a VPN or HTTPS. The interface was simple, menu-driven, easy for anyone to use. The code relied on open-source wireless tools, nothing new, just packaged for convenience. You didn't need to be an expert, just download and follow instructions. The lesson, beware of open Wi-Fi and forget networks when you're done. Even management frames, those disconnect messages, aren't encrypted. Awareness is your best defense. Misuse can disrupt real people's connectivity. Know the risks and protect your airwaves. By now, it was past 3 a.m. and I found Offensive Wi-Fi Toolkit, OWT. This was a full framework, not just a script. OWT bundled attacks like Duoth, Evil Twin, Handshake Capture, and more advanced exploits. One standout, the Karma attack. Instead of mimicking one network, it impersonates any network your device is searching for, tricking your phone into connecting automatically. It exploits the trust your device has in saved networks. OWT automated the whole process, listening for probes, creating fake access points on the fly. It even integrated with tools like Metasploit for post-exploitation, probing connected devices for vulnerabilities. The documentation was extensive, aimed at serious users. The code was modular, with a thriving community contributing new features. Hundreds of stars, active development, this was a living project. It's a glimpse into a sophisticated, open-source security community. The offensive side of security is evolving fast. These tools are for authorized testing only, never for real-world attacks. For red teams, they're essential. For everyone else, they're a warning. The sophistication here is a reminder. Defenses must keep up. Know what's possible and secure your networks accordingly. The landscape is always changing. Just when I thought I'd seen it all, I found Wi-Fi Arsenal, not tool, but a curated library, hundreds of links to Wi-Fi security tools, papers, and resources. Everything was categorized, 
Information gathering, cracking, jamming, fake access points, protocol exploitation. It included both offensive and defensive tools, guides for building intrusion detection systems, visualizing Wi-Fi traffic, and more. The sheer volume was staggering, decades of knowledge, now public and accessible. The barrier to entry for learning Wi-Fi security is almost gone. That's good for defenders, but also for attackers. The knowledge is neutral. It's how you use it that matters. For every tool I found, there were a hundred more. The ecosystem is vast and active. It's not a niche, it's a thriving field. Lists like this help professionals understand the landscape. Awareness is the first step in defense. Know what's out there, and you're better prepared. Information is power, use it responsibly. The last tool I explored was NRFI Monitor, different from the rest. It wasn't about attacking, it visualized raw radio frequency energy in the Wi-Fi bands. Using a software-defined radio, it generated real-time waterfall plots, showing signal strength across frequencies. You could see Wi-Fi channels, device transmissions, and interference from other electronics. It was mesmerizing, watching the invisible world of radio waves come alive. The tool was for RF analysis and troubleshooting, finding interference, optimizing channels. It went deeper than packets or handshakes, showing the physical reality of wireless signals. Even encrypted data is visible as energy in the air. Anyone with the right hardware can see when and where your network is active. It's a reminder, wireless is physical, not just digital. The tool is for diagnostics, not intrusion. It helps you understand your network's environment. You can spot attacks, interference, or just how crowded the airwaves are. Seeing the matrix of signals was the perfect end to my rabbit hole. Awareness of the physical layer is just as important as digital security. This is about understanding, not exploiting. The airwaves are alive, know what's out there. As dawn broke, I closed my last GitHub tab. My journey revealed a hidden world, open freeways, lock-picking tools, digital impersonators, and vast arsenals of knowledge. The convenience of wireless tech comes with real responsibilities. These tools aren't toys, they exist and that means awareness and strong security are essential. A secure network comes down to a few steps, strong passwords, disabling outdated features, and keeping firmware updated. These basics protect you from the tools I found. It's not paranoia, it's preparation. The digital world is amazing, but not inherently safe. Next time you connect, remember this story and take steps to protect your airwaves. Stay safe out there.